I don't know if you can see this. I'm cleaning up donkey poop here. And there are just hundreds of little gnats flying around. You can probably see them. They hover over this. So whenever this is on the ground for a few hours, these little tiny bugs come, as well as some other bugs. You know, you can see them all kind of swarm them there. Uh, Bald-faced hornets come and land upon this. So there's a whole myriad of little uh, creatures that come and they eat this because uh, this is just really chewed up hay. And uh, so if you left it here, it would dry up really quickly. They would take the moisture. And then there's little microorganisms eating it also. It's an amazing system that God created. We might consider these pests, but even flies. Flies have a job to do to come and lay eggs, to have maggots, to consume dead animals. Otherwise, disease would really spread. So in the soil, if you look at the soil under a microscope, it is just teeming with microorganisms. And if you put a dead animal in there, such as if you buried your dog, all those organisms would come, come begin to eat that dead animal. We also have vultures. There's, uh, as I said, there's flies, there's bees. But God designed it that way. Now, if you take a body, if you took that same dog, that if your dog died and you buried it in the sand in the desert and dug it up five years later, it would still be intact. Sand has no living organisms in it, and therefore what we call natural decomposition wouldn't take place. But God has designed this elaborate system. Our whole biosphere, our whole, our whole uh, system, our biosystem and the circle of life is just wonderfully engineered. It's definitely intelligent design as much as people want to deny that just actually even these little tiny flies that are flying here that are covering all if you could look closely they are all over these pieces of donkey poop and they are eating it and they are taking up the moisture and this is a wonderful evidence of god once again often we look at the sky we look at large animals but right under our feet there is so much to learn about the intricacies that God has created. Even when you come over here to these little spider webs, you see this little piece of leaf hanging in here, uh, all over their spider webs. And I leave them there because they'll put up uh, large webs uh, near the barn over here. And you have these big circular webs and I try not to disturb them because they're excellent fly catchers. So uh, they help keep the population down of uh, some of the insects, mosquitoes and things get caught in the webs. But God is magnificent to think he created the moon and the stars and the earth and all that is in it. And then all these micro creatures that all have a purpose. God bless you.